Hi, hello, welcome back. I was not expecting to film today, but then something really cool happened and I wanted to share it with you. But first, if you could just click subscribe down below, you will hear about all my upcoming videos as soon as they're released. And once you get to the end of this video, if you like it, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It lets me know what you think and I'll keep creating content like that or I'll stop and make something else. I don't know, anyways, let's get into it. So one of the highlights of my year is the Challenge Athletes Foundation Best Day and Try Weekend. It's like the second weekend in October, like October 16th, 17th around then normally. It's that Sunday, well, it's the whole weekend, but I I always do the spinathon on that Sunday. It is an amazing time. I get to do a spin event right there in La Jolla Cove in San Diego. I get to fundraise for months for that event and then it all culminates right there, the most beautiful vista, the most gorgeous location, and I'm surrounded by other challenged athletes. Little kids who are just getting their running legs for the first time, little kids who are breaking records, adults who are Ironman champions, thank you Sarah Reinertsen, and just some of the most incredible sports people, incredible advocates, and incredible all-around people that I've ever met in my life. It's the most inspirational, fantastic weekend, and I've been doing it for years. It all started many years ago when my sister created this foundation called Team Libby's Legs, and she raised money for the Challenge Athletes Foundation under the title of Team Libby's Legs, me being Libby, I love my sister. <laughs> so she raised money for them and donated to them, and then they supplied grants to challenge athletes all around the world. I was one of their grant recipients many, many years ago when I was a new amputee in South Africa trying to play pool and I needed a foot because the foot that I had was really awful and I couldn't even balance on it properly. <laughs> so they donated a foot to me many, many years ago. Since then, I have received a recumbent track from them. This is my baby. I love this thing. I've put thousands of miles on this thing. I have ridden numerous events on it and it has opened up a whole new world to me, a whole new life and just giving me access to an exuberance and a level of fitness and enjoyment that I didn't think I'd ever get. <laughs> it's awesome. Then a couple years ago, they gave me a running leg. <sighs> that, that's a whole nother video. We'll, get, we'll, we'll go into that. Suffice it to say, it's amazing. I can't believe I have it. It's wonderful. They make this stuff accessible to people because insurance doesn't cover it and most people can't afford a a $20,000 running leg, Ooh, you know? And you don't just get one once. Like, I have this amazing friend who I met at the Challenge Athletes Foundation weekend, Nicole Fakalin, and she's already gone through a running leg that she had for two years because she runs so much. So there's another one needed. <sighs> the Challenge Athletes Foundation is amazing, and this weekend, best day and try is amazing too. And I just thought it was gonna be one of the things that I couldn't do this year. Okay, bummer. But they still need to raise money and they're being really smart about it. They just released the 2020 CAF Community Challenge. I'm already registered. You can participate too. If you do, oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Let me know about it down below. Hell, you could even join my team. We're making it right now. It's gonna be Team Live On, I'm pretty sure. I'll put the details down below. Clearly, this is all brand new. I'm really, really excited. But it's a 10 week challenge. What a great idea because they can't do any of the fundraising stuff that they normally do, which is multitudes. One of the things is like biking from San Francisco all the way down to San Diego for the triathlon event. Anyways, they can't do any of that, so this is a great way around it. I'm really, really excited, and I love that I just made a video about how we're being given all these new opportunities because we're having a social distance, and then I get an opportunity like this. So it's a fundraising challenge, and the rewards of the fundraising are all the same things that they normally are, and the rewards are pretty sweet. Like good gear, good swag bags, swag bags, whatever, but like really nice stuff. So if you get to a certain fundraising level, you get rewards, and that's a highlight. I love it, but I'm just, I'm reading, because. I literally just signed up for this now. So run, cycle, swim, roll, or walk millions of miles, help raise millions of dollars, empower millions of dreams. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. They have a Facebook group and you can sign up for this and then you have like your own fundraising page and then you're part of the CAF group uh, on the Challenge Athletes Foundation website and you connect to Strava. So that's gonna be interesting because like I do a lot of like random things. Like I'll go bike while we're doing a CrossFit workout and CrossFit, I don't tend to track 
track it much because my watch thinks that I'm just being hyper for a minute and then stopping because it's very like high intensity interval training. Yeah, based workouts. Anyway, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to track some more workouts, but I'm really excited. I'm excited that this foundation that's so dear to me is doing something sort of alternative and pivoting with the times really well to make this happen. If you want any details, you can find them down below. I'll put the registration link so you can register. You can make your own team. You can register as an individual. The registration is $20 unless you're a challenge athlete, in which case it's free. What? I know. It's awesome. There's so much cool about this. I hope you'll join me. I... <laughs> I'm really excited. L look at all these cool things that are happening, even though we're stuck in a pandemic. So yeah, check everything down below. Let me know your thoughts if you have participated with the in the Challenge Athletes Foundation event before or any of their events. Uh, if you would like to get involved, let me know down below. And if you would like to be a Challenge Athlete, let me know down below. If you are handicapped or challenged in any way, this is valid for you. You should be able to participate in sports. You should be able to be active if you so choose. If you have any questions whatsoever, However, just just put them down below because their their grant season is from September to December. Hopefully they have the funds to make grants happen this year. I would I would assume so. I would hope so. But if you need equipment, this is a great resource. And I'll, I'll probably do a whole video on that separately, but because there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff there now that I think about that. And you should know about it. But if you have any questions, let me know down below. <sighs> Very excited. Exciting things in troubled times. If you like this video, if you enjoyed yourself, found any of this helpful interesting give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down Mer. wherever you are take care of yourself and those around you and have an excellent day bye